Hey folks, I just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron and today Mrs. Cast Iron and I are going to make a recipe that we really enjoy. Matter of fact, this is partially her recipe and so what we're going to do, we're going to make it in cast iron. <clears throat> excuse me, I've got two pieces here. I've got a brand new, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, nine inch pie pan that we uh, we bought at the uh, Lodge factory store. And so we've already got it washed and cleaned up. And as I was reading through the label here, uh, it tells you to, uh, when you're uh, getting ready to bake, make sure to coat your cast iron with regular nonstick spray or one with flour like Baker's Joy. And so I've got Baker's Joy here that has flour. So we'll get ready and we'll coat our cast iron when we're ready to put our uh, pie crust in. Now what we've got to make this uh, cast iron uh, chicken pot pie, we've got some Pillsbury pie crust that we're going to use. And I had an extra one left over from something we made before, so I've got three here. We're going to make one cast iron skillet uh, chicken pot pie that has a bottom crust and a top crust. And then we're gonna have one that is gonna have just a top crust on it. So that's why we have three. Now, a couple other things that we're gonna put in this recipe is cream of chicken condensed soup, cream of mushroom condensed soup. We've got onions that we're gonna saute down. Of course, naturally we've got uh, some rotisserie chicken that have got already chopped up and, and shredded up. And then I'm going to add uh, some uh, frozen vegetables. Now, we're kind of cheating here. You could actually just take your regular carrots and potatoes or whatever you like in yours. We're not going to put potatoes in ours. This actually has green beans, carrots, uh, corn, and peas in it. And then we're going to flavor it with just a little bit, just a little dusting of slap your mama. So with that being said, I've got my 12 inch cast iron skillet on the stove here. Let me uh, go ahead and just slide these onions in here because we're going to saute these onions first and uh, get those kind of cooked down. Get every bit of it out of here because I want to use all them up. And I'm just going to use about two tablespoons of butter to get these going real good. And so we'll get these sauteed down. And uh, once these are translucent to the point that we, uh, we like the color of them, we'll be right back and we'll show you what we do next. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we got our onions beginning to sweat down a little bit. And I've got some salt, pepper, and garlic powder that I'm gonna add to this a little bit. And um, now one other thing I forgot to mention too that we want to put a couple, two or three tablespoons of sour cream in. And we're just kind of gauging this a little bit because we're making two today. We actually have more chicken than uh, we uh, need to make for our cast iron uh, chicken pot pie. So we've got plenty of ingredients. We're just going to kind of play this by ear. And uh, while we were off for just a minute ago, Teresa was telling me that actually her actual recipe is an old timey, old fashioned recipe where you know you basically do it all from scratch. We're kind of cheating here a little bit. This is kind of a quick way of doing it uh, with your frozen vegetables and your rotisserie chicken. But generally speaking, years ago, you know, like my mom, her mom, different ones, they would take and boil the chicken down and debone the chicken and, you know, take and boil your potatoes, boil your carrots and get everything all cooked up and ready. And then you're able to compile everything together to make your uh, chicken pot pie. But we today, you know, we've, we've got things that we can do a lot quicker. And so we're kind of cutting some corners here, but you can you know, take the time to do that. And, you know, it's, they're both just as good. I mean, the other one, you got a lot more pride and, and joy in taking the time to do all that. But anyway, so now that these onions have sweated down, what we're going to do, we're going to take our frozen vegetables and they've actually been sitting out on the counter for a little while. So they're not hundred percent frozen, uh, but they are still uh, they still need to uh, to cook down just a little bit. So that's probably going to be enough. We're going to use about a half a bag of these today. And uh, the next thing I want to do now, uh, I've got my cream of chicken soup. And I'm going to take and pour this in here. It don't pour very easy. you got to dig it out of there. So we're going to dig that out the best we can. And then the next thing I want to do, I've got cream of mushroom also. We use both and uh, it just makes it taste so good. 
It all comes together real well. This is coming out a lot easier than the chicken did, cream of chicken. So anyway, we've got those two done. Now, I'm just going to take and kind of give us a little quick stir and see how this is all coming together. And then I'll get ready and maybe add a little bit of sour cream. It looks like we're going to need that just for the moisture sake. Of course, once these vegetables begin to thaw, uh, then, you know, with being frozen and everything, it'll add just a little bit of moisture to that. But, you know, one thing too, folks, that you got to understand about a chicken pot pie, you don't want it to be very runny and uh, because then you, your crust will be real soggy and we don't like soggy crust. So now one thing that we're going to do basically is uh, go ahead. We've, we've got everything in here and I want to add just a little bit, probably about three tablespoons of sour cream. Okay, there we go with that. So we'll just continue to let this slowly simmer down incorporate together everything make sure that sour cream blends in with all of these vegetables and onions and once we get all this blended in uh, one other thing that I've done so far is we went ahead and preheated our oven to 350 degrees now Teresa and I both agree on one thing we've always cooked our uh, chicken pot pies at 350 degrees now i've read some recipes seen some videos and different things where people will take and crank up their heat to 400 degrees in the beginning and then for about 20 minutes and then back their heat back down to 350 for the remaining 20 minutes but Trisha and i my mom her mom everybody always basically did 350 degrees 350 degrees in an oven is a good general a uh, way to bake a lot of things. I mean, 350 is a great temperature. So now that we've got all this stuff pretty much incorporated, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken to this. Now this is just rough. It's just been shredded, just been pulled apart, pulled off the bone. We didn't chop it or anything. You could if you wanted to. You could try to cube it or whatever, but just shredded pulled chicken is is the best way for me. I mean, that's the way I like it. And I think Teresa does too, so we'll go ahead and get that in there. Get every little bit of that. Now I'm going to just kind of lightly try to incorporate this in our mixture. Get this chicken all coated real well. Oh yeah, this is going to be so good, man. There ain't nothing like a good old chicken pot pie on the weekend. Alright, now that we've got all this pretty much coated, what I'm going to do... I'm just going to take and add just a little splash of one of my favorite uh, seasonings, Cajun seasoning, and that's slap your mama. Just kind of mix that in, blend that in a little bit. And really we're not wanting to cook this a whole lot. What we're wanting to do basically is just get all of this melted. The cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and of course naturally the sour cream we just want to get it all blended in real well and you see how thick that is i mean this is going to turn out perfect and um, next thing i want to do i want to add just a little bit i know i added this to the onions earlier but i just want a lightly dusting of salt pepper and uh, garlic powder just for flavoring and we'll go ahead and incorporate that in also Okay, folks, well, we've got all this incorporated. Now, the next step, what we're going to do, we're going to take our Baker's Joy, and we're just going to spray our um, skillets and our pie pan real good. Get a nice little coating on that. And the next thing I want to do is uh, take my Pillsbury pie crust, and uh, you want to make sure these are good and thawed out when you get ready to do this because if you don't they'll stick and you want to make sure you got good fresh pie crust also and you just basically want to take and lay these in here like this right here kind of go ahead and work it down into your your pie pan <clears throat> okay now that I've got my pie crust in here what we like to do is just kind of take and take a fork and just kind of prick the bottom of that a little bit so it just kind of helps let it breathe and, and uh, cook better. Now what I want to do next I want to take and go ahead 
and add me some mixture to this. Get it filled up real good. Now you don't want to overfill it, but you want to make sure you got plenty in there because it's going to cook down, cook together. And so that's, uh, that's one thing you want to make sure. Don't overfill it. Uh, my next skillet over here, what we're going to do on it is I'm just going to add my mixture to the bottom or to the skillet itself without any crust on the bottom. So we'll just start to lay that in there. Now the next thing I want to do on that is we're just going to lay this on here as a top uh, shell, pie shell. And just kind of wrinkle that down in there a little bit. And then uh, what you want to do, you want to take and cut you some holes in here so it will breathe. And then our next uh, pie crust, what we're going to do with it, since this one's going to be a two crust uh, pot pie, once you have your bottom end and you have the filling in there, then you just take your top pie crust, lay it on there, and you want to just kind of wrinkle that together, crinkle it together. You can do it with a fork or you can do it with your fingers, either one. It's going to be kind of crude looking, but it'll be fine. It'll all eat the same, won't it, Tree? How would you do it? Would you use a fork? A little bit neater. A little bit neater, all right. Well, that's okay. You know, this is Mr. Cast Iron. I'll cut it a different way. And so. That's fine. All right, so we've got that. Now, uh, one thing we want to do now, we've got our cast iron. Uh, all of our cast iron filled, we've got our pie shells on, we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and place this in the oven, and basically what I generally do is bake these for about 40 to 50 minutes, so we're going to put them in for 40 minutes, we'll be back here, and we'll show you what they look like here in just about 40 minutes. Okay, well, it's been 50 minutes and we've got these out of the oven. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and cut this a little bit just to kind of see. Boy, it's flaky. Oh, yeah. So let me try this one here without a bottom. And, oh, yeah, look at that. I flipped it over upside down so you could see. But look at this in the skillet. I mean, it just comes out clean out of the skillet without a crust on the bottom. So there's that one. Let's take a look at this one that's got double crust on it. Now this is hot, so you wanna make sure cast iron, you gotta be careful with cast iron because it is hot. I'm gonna cut a bigger piece so I can get down in there a little better. Actually, the reason why I cut a bigger piece because that's going to be mine. But look how clean that come out of that nine inch cast iron pie pan, folks. I mean, you just can't hardly beat that. Now, these pie pans are great for not only pies and stuff like that, but it's also great for a uh, chicken pot pie. And so here we have our cast iron chicken pot pie cooked two different ways, cooked in a nine inch cast iron uh, pie pan and also a 10 inch cast iron skillet. The pie pan had double crust and the uh, 10 inch skillet had single crust with just a crust on top. And so, you know, it's awful hot. I'm not going to try to eat that today. But anyway, we just wanted to share our recipes with you, how easy it is to make uh, you know, chicken pot pie in cast iron. So you guys have a great day. It's Mike and Mrs. Cast Iron over here. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.